Hey guys, Monday morning. We got like 31 items to send out. I think that's the most ever for us. So I'll try to go through it kind of quick. Bought a lot of things at Academy Sports Clearance. And I think that's a lot of what we have. So, but all right. So it was another radio. I bought them for $10 a piece. Sold for $32 or $33. Sold two of those. I bought these scopes, rifle scopes, hunting season coming up, so that was good. Bought my Academy Sports for $18, and it sold for $60 uh, free shipping. So that's going to cost uh, probably about $12 to ship it, minus $18. So that makes $30 out of the $60, so about $30 profit. I sold three of these. I got four more left, I believe. So that's pretty good. Anytime I make a twenty dollar profit, I'm happy. That's that's the goal. And anything above that is great. But sometimes ten dollar profit. <laughs> but this thing here, it sold for twenty bucks. It's a little pampered chef. Goes in a toaster oven. It's more popular and sold for more. Might even sell for twenty five. It's I think it sold for twenty five, and uh, it it was more popular than the bigger stuff. But pampered chef seems to be selling pretty good. We sold two. Two casserole pans the other day. Sold a uh, pocket knife gerber that I had just laying around. I think I bought it for a gift for somebody. Never gave it. It's Thirteen. Sold some uh, gun scopes that I bought. Uh, I'm sorry, scope mounts from Academy. Sold two of these for seventeen ninety nine or eighteen dollars. Just eighteen. It's pretty cool. Fish scale, old antique. Had a long time. Only sold for ten bucks. A long, long time. It was good to get rid of those long time, long tail items. Nice little pot here. Um, let's see what brand. Weaver, I think, or where, wherever, wherever brand. Sold for twenty five dollars. Got that for just a, maybe a dollar or two. Got two of those. I got a smaller one. That's for, I got it for sale for twenty, and that was twenty five. So that's a good $20 profit there. I got a yard sale. Got this Academy Sports. Uh, paid $25 for it. And it sold for $80. It's a Garmin. I think it's kind of like a Fit Watch thing. Sometimes I don't even know what it is. But it doesn't matter if it's got a barcode. And you, you can just you scan the barcode. You can look at the ones that are for sale. You pick the one with the best title. And there's a place to click on it for sell one like this. Click on that and kind of copies it. Put your own pictures in. You know, you might want to reword it a little bit. But that's the fastest, easiest way to sell stuff if it's got a barcode. That's some jewelry. My wife said, oh my God, look how big that thing is. In the picture, it looked like it was, you know, this big. <laughs> it's about six inches across. But anyway, it sold for $12.99. Plus shipping. I used to do plus shipping or anything. I'm trying some free shipping to see how it goes. I sold four baseball bats that I got Academy. These things, the prices are like 200 to 260, even two, 280 on that thing. If you can see that or not. 279, 99. And it only sold for 80 bucks. So just because you see 280 doesn't mean, oh, I can sell that for $200. You can only sell it for the same price or a little less. Than everybody else, or a little more than everybody else. If everybody's selling them for ninety dollars, you can put it on for eighty, and you'll sell in a few days. Or you can put it on for a hundred and wait till their ninety dollar ones are sold out. But you're not going to get you know two eighty for it unless you, you know, maybe if you wait five years or something, and they can't find one. That's their favorite bat. You know, that's the only way to do that. I think. But anyway, I turned them over fast. I bought them last week. Bought probably a dozen. Sold four in a weekend. Somebody's bugging me to come down with a price on one, but I haven't come down yet. Here's some sprinkler, spin around sprinkler that I got. Uh, I got a whole mess. I got hundreds of sprinkler heads, different kinds. But these two are sold for $10. Most of them I got $10, either two or three. These are some lights. I got a yard sale for like a dollar each. Sold three of them, $12.99. Not great. But, you know, $10, $10, $10, obviously that adds up. This is some kind of lanyard so you can carry your phone like around your neck. 
I don't know who would want to do that, but two of these sold for 15 so that's good. It's like if you, if you're, if I'm looking at these like at Academy, and I see that one of them's selling for like $10, and I got to pay, let's say, you know, a dollar to get it. Well, buy two of them, or buy what, you know, and load, lot, lot them together, now I'm making more profit. I got two dollars, it's turning into, you know, like 15 or 17, I think it's, it's 17 99 I think. I got a Casio watch, I bought a yard sale for ten dollars, sold for thirty. Had it for quite a while, it's nice. Okay. I went trying to get forty and guys kept bugging me over a period of, of a month, so I finally said, okay, you can have it. <laughs> Canvas black converse sold for twenty twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine. Those are from a yard sale. So I paid a couple dollars. This I got for free from some friend of mine gave me a chair and he had an extra handle. Lazy boy handle for the side, sold for twelve ninety nine. Here's another scope we gotta ship out. Here's a Harry Potter wand. I sold one for forty bucks, the, the one that Harry Potter carried. This is I think the the uh, villain one. Kinda spooky. Ooh. <laughs> sold for twenty. Wasn't the box and stuff. Wasn't in as good a shape as the other one I had, but I think that, I guess the other one's more popular too. The Harry Potter one. So, that's one bag. This is one thing I'm really glad to get rid of. This big old car. I mean, this ain't been rolling off the shelf, dropping it, falling, and the car comes shooting out the back. Anyway, there it is. Huge. Sold for $24. I started out at 40 Cause that's what other people had them, but I couldn't get 40. Maybe somebody else could. Here's a shirt that sold about 10 bucks, usually, about what you get. I think we paid a dollar, came in a lot of a lot of clothes that we got from a lady that has a consignment shop. So she gives us the stuff that won't sell, and we try to sell it on eBay. But we get it for a dollar a piece, and we try to sell them for more than ten dollars. But that's when I have two more bats that sold. I'm trying to think about it. Oh, I have this big old heater thing in this bag. It's like for a. Uh, bought this at a, at a store, was having a clearance sale, or outlet mall. And uh, it comes with some hoses that you hook it up to propane. You actually put a battery in here, or you can use a little electric cord, or you put a, a rigid battery in there. And it just runs the fan, basically, for the heater. So the, the propane heats it up and it just flows with the with the uh, battery or electricity. It weighs about I don't know, 15 pounds, I guess. That's going to be a doozy. But it sold for 100 bucks and I paid about 35, 30, 35 for it. So that was good. So we had a good weekend. Lots of sales, lots of shipping to do. I'll be busy for probably take me like a couple hours to do this many, but. <laughs> That's what weekends, you know, I don't ship on Saturdays because I'm out yard sailing usually. I, sh I might switch my shipping to just Monday, Wednesday, and Friday instead of every day. But we'll see how it goes. Alright you guys, get out there and buy some good stuff. That's where you make your money. Is when you make that decision to buy it. Is this going to make me money? Is it going to sell? Is this a good buy? And the more time that you take before you buy it, the more money you're gonna make, the faster it's gonna sell. If you, when you're at a yard sale, you take the time to scan it, scan the solds, see how often it's selling. You know, it doesn't do any good to buy, you know, one of these if you, if if they're only selling one every year, one a year, you know, you know it's gonna sit in your drawer for a long time. But and then we and we bought a lot of stuff with the intention of it sitting, but then sooner or later you kind of start running out of room. And that's where we're kind of at now. So we're going back through the store and marking everything down and sending out offers to people to try to, you know, get some of the old items out of the store, make room for new stuff. Bought a whole bunch of shoes from Academy Sports, probably 30 pairs of shoes and cleats. So make room for that. All right, you guys, have a good week. Find some good deals.